Hi there everybody, today we're going to look at enlargements and enlarging shapes. Um, about a point and just typically just um, scale factors and those kind of things. Alright, so let's get going. So enlargement is when you change the size of a shape. Um, it's quite a weird one really because it says enlargements, but of course it can actually get smaller. Uh, so don't necessarily assume that enlargement it means it's going to get bigger. It just means it's going to change the size of the shape. All right, um, The scale factor will determine whether or not it's enlarged or not. Okay, So scale factor tells you how much it gets bigger or smaller by. Okay, So looking at this particular shape, um, you've got 2 and 5. And if I ask you to move it to this particular shape, hopefully you can see that it, this one has got bigger. Um, and if I ask you to work out what the scale factor is, then I'm looking at the dimensions specifically to find out what that, how much is enlarged by. So I'm not just looking at adding, this is about multiplying. So what's happened to the 2 to the 4, or what's happened to the 5 to the 10? Hopefully you can see that they have doubled. So the scale factor in this one would be a scale factor of 2. Okay, so let's have another look at one. Again, the same kind of idea is that the shape has gone from this one to this one. And again, the arrow, it matters, is I've gone from 2 to 6 and 4 to 12. Well, you can see that the numbers have tripled, so this will have a scale factor of 3. I mentioned about enlargements, obviously not necessarily getting bigger. Okay, so this is still an enlargement, this last one, um, but I'm looking for the scale factor. Well, it's gone from 5 to 1 and 10 to 2. Well, this one has divided by 5, but because it's a scale factor, that means it's a multiple, and I don't multiply it by 5, I don't divide it by 5, I multiply it by a fifth. Okay, so that's important in terms of when it gets smaller, it's going to be a fraction. It's a fraction of it, okay? So this has a scale factor of fifth. It's a fifth of the original. Okay, so we'll make looking at it. Right, so let's look at basically doing enlargements on a graph um, and from a point. Okay, so when you enlarge a, a shape from a point, it not only does the, the shape get bigger or smaller, obviously because the, the distance from the point is also either enlarged or it goes, it goes with the scale factor. So for example, the scale factor is a scale factor of two, then the distance from a point would be twice the distance as well. Okay, let's have a look. So enlarged by a scale factor of 2 from the point 1, 1. All right, so I've got a point here, and I've got, I've got a shape which currently exists. All right, so what's going to happen is this, this shape is going to be twice as big, but it's also going to be twice the distance from here. All right, so there's two ways I can do this. Is that, that, that I know how big the shape's going to be. It's going to be 2 up, and it's going to be 2 along, and then with a diagonal. All right, so 2 up, 2 along. But it also needs to be twice the distance from here. All right, so... What you're probably best doing is basically choosing the points and moving the points bit by bit by bit. Okay, so if I choose um, um, this particular point here where my cursor is now, then it's currently one right and one up. All right, well, that needs to change. It needs to be two right and two up if the scale factor is two. So it's going to move from two right and two up, so it's going to go to there. Okay, so you'll see it move two right to two up, it's going to go there. All right, so that's this point. We're now going to take the next point, which is going to be uh, this one over here. And then currently, it's two right and one up. So if I'm going to double that, it's going to be four right and two up. So it's going to go where my cursor is now. So you'll see that kind of move over there. All right. So that's those two done. So the final one is going to be this one over here. So you can see that one there. And it's currently one right and two up. So it needs to be two right and four up. So it's going to go to there. All right, you see that kind of moved. All right, and now I can draw my shape. So my shape is going now going to be here. So it's going to enlarge. You'll see it go. <clears throat> it's going to go from there to there. So what's happened is it's now twice the distance and twice the size. All right. It's a little, a little bit like I have a, have a torch there, and basically put the torch to it and, and like a like a shadow from it. All right. So if I put a torch, shine my light over here. This is going to make shadow twice the size, all right, and draw the shape. All right, so that is how you enlarge a shape from a point. So not only is your shape um, basically enlarged, in this case, over a scale factor of two, but obviously had the distance from the point is also enlarged, all right? So if it, if it was a, a scale factor of a half, for example, then your shape would be half the size and it would be half the distance from where it currently is, all right? So you kind of move it back. Right, so describing enlargements in the part. So maybe they're going to give you a question where the shape has already been enlarged and you need to describe what that enlargement currently is. All right, um, so there's a couple of things that you need. You need to know A, the scale factor and where the center of enlargement has come from. All right, so let's have a look at an, an, an example in relation to that. So describe the transformation that maps the shape A 
to shape B. So this one to this one. Okay, so this one to this one. So you can hopefully you can see it's got smaller and it's gone smaller in this direction. Alright, so if I'm going smaller and smaller to this section, then I can see that, hopefully you can see that the distance here is 2 and this distance here is 1. So it has halved. Alright, so it actually has, has halved. But what I'm missing is, is the, the point. Alright, so if I'm looking at this one here and I draw a line directly there, then it, it would must come from some, some, some direction over here. So I'm guessing over here. But the only way, the best way to do this is basically draw some lines on it. Okay, so if I draw a line from there to there, and carry on, it's going to take me from there. So that corner of the shape and that corner of the shape and carry on down. If I then do it for the other one, so that corner to that corner to that corner, you'll probably notice something. And if I do it from the other corner to the other corner and come through, and they all centre around or kind of meet at this particular point. So this is going to be my centre enlargement. All right. The idea of it, it kind of moving from here to here in this direction, well, it's all aiming towards this one. All right. So we've got the scale factor of a half. And our centre of enlargement is going to be that coordinate there, which is zero one. All right, so that's so. If you're describing it, I would say it's an enlargement uh, with a scale factor of a half um, from centre of enlargement zero one. All right, so it has been enlarged by a scale factor of a half from the point zero one. And of course, you have to kind of clarify those kind of points to the examiner so that you are very clear where your three marks are coming from. Enlargement, it's a scale factor. And obviously point zero one. All right, three three marks there for just by kind of saying those correct words. All right, please do go to maths-school.co.uk. Link is at the bottom of the page, and have a go and practice some of those. And um, kind of obviously a few questions on there on on, on the variety of to, to, kind of the variety of topics which I have covered today. All right, but please feel free after return to the video at any point. All right, thanks for listening.